Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. We've been blessed with some beautiful days here. How awesome it is to get out in, outside and see God's mighty hand of creation. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Psalms chapter 84, beginning at verse 10. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. O Lord Almighty, blessed is the man who trusts in you. You know, as I read those words this morning, I'm reminded of how blessed we are to know Jesus. How blessed we are to have Jesus as our Savior and to, to be under God's hand. <clears throat> yes, as we look around the world, sometimes it seems like the wicked are getting ahead. Yes, it seems like the, the powerful, the those who are, um, you know, the rich, if you will, and, and I mean, the, the kind of those elitist rich um, seem like they're always getting ahead in the middle class or the, or, or if you're the lower class that so we're always being pushed down. And, and it's easy to think, hey, we want to be a part of that world. We want to be a part of what they have going on. And yet there's a sense that, and certainly not all people fit into that category, but there's a sense that the world is, is calling us to this idea of living in the land of the wicked, or in this case, the tents of the wicked. You know, if you can have all the money and power, if you just do these things, you know, you step on a few people, um, whatever it takes to get ahead in life. And yet true joy, true blessedness, if you will, comes from serving God. True blessedness comes from knowing the Almighty God and serving in His hand. You know, it's not from, happiness does not come from things. Uh, I mean, having things is nice and, and may bring a smile to our face, but true happiness comes from knowing the Almighty God. True happiness comes from living within His will and, and being set apart to do His, His things. You know, at the end of the day, at the end of life, if you will, it's probably not going to matter that much, you know, how much money you had, uh, how many hours you worked, uh, how you did this or that as far as what you were able to do to get ahead. Um, the old bumper sticker, he who dies with the most toys wins, is just a fable. That's just not true. Um, the reality is, is God has each given each of us a lot in this life, and we're called to enjoy it. And we can enjoy it if we understand that it comes from God. It's not about how much or how little we have uh, as far as material possessions. It's how much we have in God. How much love do we find? How much hope and, and joy and peace and those things that really matter? I don't know about you, but, uh, you know, someday, uh, a long ways away, if you know, I get to that age where I can no longer work and, um, you know, no longer do a lot, I hope that my mind is filled with great memories. Memories of time spent with God's people. Memories of time spent with family. Memories of, of just a life... Uh, lived fairly well, um, you know, certainly uh, according to what I think God wants for me. I, I'm right in there, and I, I appreciate God for that. It's, it's his doing, not mine, but but a, a life that hopefully looks back and celebrates who God is in my life. I hope that those who gather around me can see God at work and everything that I've done and, and, and give him the glory and the praise. I look forward to the time when God calls me home to, to be in heaven, uh, to be with those who've gone before and those who, who will go before me even from now until then. Uh, I look forward to all eternity and God's glory and without the pain and suffering and death that comes from this world. But in the meantime, I want to celebrate all that God has given us here. I want to find the joy and the peace that comes from serving the Almighty God. And that happens not because of what we do. It happens because of who God is. He's ready to provide it for us. Um, in a sense, I guess, um, it comes because of our obedience. God's loved us. We then love God. And as we serve him, as we're obedient to him, as we become, as we're transformed to be more like Christ, then we find his joy and his happiness on uh, this side of heaven. I hope today that you feel blessed. I hope today that you have this thought of, of the psalmist here and stating that you'd rather be a doorkeeper in heaven than, than live in the tents of the wicked. That's my feeling this morning. Uh, I've said it before, I think from the pulpit, the idea that, you know, if my, if, if my job in heaven is, you know, is, you know, making marshmallows, that's fine. I don't care as long as I get in. I just want to get into heaven. I just want to be there for all these eternity. Uh, that's what we're looking forward to. God wants to give you his all. God is simply loves you that much. Um, the question is, is, do we receive it? Do we accept it? Um, do we take it in and do we want to be in relationship with him? That's the question today. I hope that you do and I hope that you'll go out today with the idea that you want to share that joy with others. Share the peace and the hope that we have with others that they too might find Jesus. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you, O oh God, that our salvation is secure when we trust in you. 
Father, we just pray today for those who don't know you. May you use our lives to be a blessing to them. May the hope and the joy and the love that you give to us flow through us and into the lives of others. Even those who may seem unlovable, Father, may they feel your love through us and may you be praised. Father, we just pray today that we'd make a difference in all the lives that we come in contact with and that you would get the glory. Father, today we pray you touch those who need a special touch, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, even financial, whatever the case. But may you touch them in such a way that they know it comes from you and again that you're glorified. Father, we thank you for all that you're about to do this day and each day this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. I hope you feel blessed today to be a part of the kingdom. Uh, and I hope you share that blessed with others. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.